everything from Columbine to Newtown to Orlando, Las Vegas, and so many others. There have been all these tragic, 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 tragic um, incidents of um, innocent people being gunned down by assault weapons, and we still haven't done anything about it. This time, the Parkland shooting and the mobilization of the young people, this might be the first time that we can see real legislative change. We need to insist on it. I'm so thrilled to be participating in these March for Our Lives marches. We need to keep that momentum up, and I give so much credit to this generation of younger people who are really, really keeping us focused on this issue nationally. I support a ban on assault rifles. I support a ban on high capacity magazines. I support uh, universal background checks. I support, of course, a ban on things like bump stocks. Really, what I support here is initiatives like what the state of Massachusetts has tried to do for years. We have led on this issue. We have some of the strictest gun laws in the country. And you know what the result is? The result is we have some of the lowest in the country incidents of gun-related homicides. So there is a lot that we can be doing, that we can and should be doing, and we have absolutely got to not be held hostage by the NRA. The NRA owns our politicians, far too many of them, and I will tell you this, I will never be owned by the NRA, and I will gladly have an F. Gladly. Never wanted an F in my life, but I will gladly have an F by the NRA. This is not a time for small incremental change. This is a time for substantive change that can truly impact and benefit society.